U.S. Central Command forces executed a series of precise airstrikes November 9 through 10 on multiple Houthi weapon storage facilities situated within Houthi-controlled territories in Yemen. These facilities housed a variety of advanced conventional weapons used by the Iran-backed Houthis to target U.S. and international military and civilian vessels navigating international waters in the Red Sea and Gulf of Aden. The operation involved U.S. Air Force and U.S. Navy assets to include F-35C fighter aircraft. This targeted operation was conducted in response to the Houthis' repeated and unlawful attacks on international commercial shipping, as well as U.S. coalition and merchant vessels in the Red Sea, Bob Almendeb Strait, and the Gulf of Aden. It also aimed to degrade the Houthis' ability to threaten regional partners. As you've heard us say before, we will continue to make clear to the Houthis that there will be consequences for their illegal and reckless attacks. U.S. CENTCOM forces conducted strikes yesterday against nine targets in two locations associated with Iranian groups in Syria in response to several attacks on U.S. personnel in Syria over a 24-hour period. These strikes will degrade the Iranian-backed group's ability to plan and launch future attacks on U.S. and coalition forces who are in the region to conduct de defeat ISIS operations. Uh, first of all, there are no U.S. Injuries, injuries associated with any of these attacks. Uh, they were at Mission Support Site Green Village in northeast Syria. Uh, there were two separate attacks, uh, one on, uh, both on Sunday, November 10th. One attack consisted of a uh, UAV. Uh, the second was indirect fire comprised of two rockets. On November 11th, uh, U.S. Central Command forces successfully repelled multiple Iranian-backed Houthi attacks uh, during a transit of the Bab al-Mandeb Strait. Uh, during the transit, the Arleigh Burke class guided missile destroyer USS Stockdale and USS Spruance were attacked by at least eight one way attack uncrewed aerial systems, five anti ship ballistic missiles, and three anti ship cruise missiles, which were successfully engaged and defeated. Uh, the vessels were not damaged, no personnel were hurt. Uh, again, CENTCOM forces uh, retain the inherent right of self defense, and as I highlighted earlier, will take appropriate steps to protect our personnel.